Hello and welcome. Please pause this video and try the problem on your own. Let's start by reading this problem. It says, um, which graph shows a line where each value of y is 3 more than half of x? So we'll solve this in two quick ways. Um, the, the important thing is to realize that we can model this statement um, with at least one of these solution approaches uh, with a linear function. So it says y is 3 more. That is is um, synonymous with the equals sign. So if you see is, you can infer they're saying equals. Y equals 3 more than 3 plus 1 half of X. That's what it's saying. Or you might typically write this as Y equals 3 plus X divided by 2. These are equivalent. 1 half of X, um, or take X and divide by 2, that's the same thing. Now, if you take this approach, what you realize is that you're able to write this in what's called b plus mx, or mx plus b form, which is a way of saying, hey, we've got y all by itself, right, it's all alone, and on the other side of the equation, we have all the information we need to graph it. This number, this constant, all by itself, is called the y-intercept, and that's a point on the graph where your line, this is a graph of a line, crosses the y-axis. So, you know, any x and y-axis, this yellow line crosses the y-axis here. This is called the y-intercept. And every y-intercept starts with 0. So we can represent any y-intercept as 0, comma, b. All right? So any line with a slope that's not 0 or undefined, a vertical or a horizontal line, will cross the y-axis somewhere. Um, Sorry, any, any slope that uh, is not undefined. A zero, uh, a zero slope will always cross the y-axis. Zero, because a, a zero slope looks like this, a flat line. It'll always cross the y-axis somewhere. Undefined slope, I'll do that in pink, something like this, a vertical line, doesn't have to cross the y-axis. That should be vertical, sorry. Picture a straight line up and down, right? That is an undefined slope, straight up and down. It doesn't have to cross the y-axis unless it's on the y-axis. Zero slopes, of course, you know, they're flat. They're going to cross the y-axis somewhere. So I was just making a comment, sorry, that took a long time, that if the slope is not undefined, you know it's going to definitely have a y-intercept somewhere. What else do you know in mx plus b format? Well, you know that the coefficient, the number in front of x, is the slope, right? So in this situation, what's our y-intercept? Well, it's 3. So we know our line is across the y-axis at 3. And that means choice 1 is out, because here it crosses the point at 0, 0, not 0, 3, which is the y-intercept that we need to, to use here. So let me write that in a different color. This is 0, 0. That's the wrong y-intercept. This is at 0, 3. Um, here, this is at 0, 3, even though the x and y-axis are in different positions, and so is this. They're all at 0, 3, so that's okay. And, and to figure this out, though, now we have to distinguish uh, what the slope is. The slope is 1 half. Now, slope is change in y over change in x. So you can think of that as up one half and over one, or you can think of this as up one, that's the delta y, it's always the y direction in the numerator, and then over to the right, two. It's called the rise over the run, because the number up top is always the uh, change in the y axis, the number in the bottom is always the change in the x axis. So which, which graph fits this slope? Well, in graph number three, we go up one, two, three, four, and over two. Right? So delta y go up 4 over 2. So here, m is the rise over the run, 4 over 2. Right? It's 2, not 1 over 2. It's the reciprocal of our graph. Here, what's our slope? Now, to find slope, just pick two friendly points. We already have our intercept here. I know if I go up 1 and over 2, right, 1 over 2, that's our slope. That's what we need. Or back uh, 2 in a negative 2 direction, and down 1 is the same thing, right? Here's our slope, 1 over 2, 1 over 2. Any two points you pick, you need to pick these two points, right? From here to here. Notice we go up twice and over 4. So in that case, your slope is either 2 over 4, or if we think of it as back and down, you can think of it as negative 1, rise over negative 2. Still the same thing. Negative 1 over negative 2 is 2 over 4, and then 1 over 2. These are all equivalent. Either way, the slope is all 1 half. This is our answer. Let's look at number 4, though, just to understand why it's not the answer. If I pick this point, easy to read, and this one, or this point as well, if I go down 1 and up 2, right, negative 1, up 2, there my slope is negative 1 over 2. 
it's negative one half, not plus one half. So if it was less than, not more than, this would, this would apply. If I look at other two connections here, right, down two and up four, negative two over positive four, that would be a negative slope as well. Or, you know, and if I read backwards, if I go up two, but back four, negative four, that's two over negative four, which is the same thing as negative one over two, right? It's still negative one half in the end. So this is a negative slope. That's not what we're looking for. All right, hope this helped.